grade fours, welcome back to our online social studies class. Today, um, I'm really excited about this lesson because you're going to get to pretend that you are exploring Canada and trying to get to Alberta. So let me explain. I will share my screen with you. You should have this page in front of you. Um, it says roots of exploration. And just um, read along with me and then I'll get to explaining what I want you to do today. Um, so as you know, we have been learning about the fur trade and then we learned about um, when the English came to Canada and when the French came to Canada. Um, you learned about a couple of the different explorers that came here first, like Samuel de Champlain, John Cabot, and uh, there's, there's too many for me to eat even. Um, explain, but you just, you learned about why they were important and how they got to where they ended up. So today we're going to learn about how they actually traveled through Canada to get to Alberta. Explorers who moved westward towards the prairie provinces would use waterways as recommended to them by the Aboriginal people. So Remember, they don't have planes or trains or roads even, there's, there's nothing, it's just empty land. So they have no idea, it, like imagine just walking in a forest or a field with nothing around you. There's no houses, no towns, no roads, no power lines, nothing. They would have no idea where they, go, they were going. So they truly relied on the First Nations peoples to tell them how to get around. So. And the best way to get around was by the water, because as you can imagine, walking takes forever. Horses, um, they can't go through valley. They can't, yeah, they can't like just go down cliffs. They have to stay on good pathways. So the rivers were the fastest way to do it. Today, most people get around using roads and highways. Rivers and other waterways were the highways of the past. But you also have to think that these people would have had no idea where these rivers were going. So if they just got on one, they could end up down in the United States or back out to the ocean. And that's not what they were trying to do. They were trying to get further into the land so they could settle it. So on the following page is going to be a blank map of Canada like that. You have one in front of you. So you're going to use your pencil and then Google Maps, which I'll include a link to in um, this assignment. You're going to make a route from Eastern Canada to Alberta. So you're going to have to zoom in on Google Maps to try and locate different waterways like rivers that connect to each other. So it's kind of like a game. You need to use, you're trying to get to Alberta the fastest possible way and you can only use rivers. So here are your steps. First, you're gonna find Canada on Google Maps. So when you're in the Google Maps link, just type in Canada when it says um, find your destination. And then you're gonna scroll around on the map and find Alberta and then label it on your map here. Then you're going to find the Gulf of St. Lawrence and color the area blue and label it. If you wanna pause this video and go step-by-step, step, I think that might be a good idea. So if you can't, if you're scrolling around Canada and you can't find the Gulf of St. Lawrence, then you can also type it in. I'm gonna open Google Maps as well just so that you can have an idea of what to do. So let me share my screen for real with you. Okay, so I have my Google Maps open right here. This is where you search in Google Maps. So if I hit right Canada, and here we go, big map of Canada. Um, if you don't want this thing over here blocking your view, just hit that arrow. And then just the standard rules of Google Maps are zoom in, zoom out. And so first step was to locate Alberta. Then the next step, right? So if you've done that, check mark, check mark. Now we're onto this one. Find the Gulf of St. Lawrence, color this area blue and label it. Once you're done that, give it a check mark. So let's just take a little look. So if you zoom in, you should be able to move around the map 
and see what you can find. Look, there's the Hudson's Bay that we learned, Hudson Bay, the one that we learned about so much before. So there's, just make sure that you're staying in Canada. Notice how it is um, all red around it. Um, that just shows you once you get down in here, see how there's no red around this country. That's because that's United States and we are not studying the United States. I guess they just gave you the world's biggest hint because if you look, there's the Gulf of St. Lawrence there. Here's a trick, you guys. So you know how on your iPad you can pinch to zoom in and then unpinch to zoom out? I'm doing that on my trackpad where I move my finger around this like that. So I zoomed in to the Gulf of St. Lawrence. Now I'm gonna zoom out. You, again, you can click here, but if you keep your mouse where you originally were, now I can see that this was the Gulf of St. Lawrence. So the instructions say, color the area blue and label it. So in your map, oops, your map is also not um, as big, but you're gonna find that area on your map. You're gonna color it blue, and then you're gonna label it Gulf of St. Lawrence. Um, you can use arrows or just like lines to show. So I could color this area blue, draw a little line, nice and neat, and then write Gulf of St. Lawrence. Um, big warning, you're gonna wanna write small because your map isn't that big. The next step says to draw an X where Quebec City is and label it. So again, I'm gonna to go to my map. Oh, I don't wanna click that. If you click, you kind of drop a pin. You don't wanna drop any pins. So I'm gonna zoom in and there's Quebec City. Pick that point and label it and so on. Like I said before, if you are scrolling around, you are traveling all around Canada and you can't find what you're looking for, um, go back to here. And then if I wanted to go to um, Quebec City, Quebec City, Sometimes it'll predict and you can just click and there it is. Now that's really zoomed in. It would be hard for me to write that on my map. So I'm gonna zoom out and I'm gonna put a pin or a dot right on my map. So you guys are gonna put a dot on your map and again, write Quebec City small because your map is small. I'm not gonna go through all of these cause I really want you guys to do a good job on your own. Um, then you're gonna find Oh, sorry, it's not a dot. You draw an X where Quebec City is and label it. Then you're going to find Montreal. Then you're going to find Toronto. Then you are going to draw a line connecting Quebec City to Montreal and then to Toronto. Like you're drawing a line of where you would travel. Zoom in on Toronto and you're going to try to find a waterway to Lake Huron. So you want a river that comes out of Toronto and goes to Lake Huron. You're gonna label Lake Huron, and then you're gonna find and put a check mark. Then you're gonna find Lake Superior and label it. Um, from Lake Superior, you're gonna try to find a way. I don't know why it says a way, way, a way, way into Manitoba, then Saskatchewan, and then finally Alberta. So that is on your own. You're trying to find different rivers that are gonna get you to Alberta. Um, so draw the rivers, draw a line, and, and then kind of, you could color the river so that we know which ones you're going down. And you wanna map out the route that you're gonna take with your pencils and draw an X on, let's draw an X on Calgary because you don't have a river in Langdon. <laughs> so they probably wouldn't have, been able to find it just using the rivers. So you're going to put an X on Calgary and hopefully you can get from Lake Superior to Calgary only using the rivers. Now, if you need help or this is confusing to you, um, ask me, I'll be around as usual or Mrs. Ross. Um, but once again, you're following these instructions, you're going to end up at Lake Superior, which is a big lake um, in the east of Canada, then from Lake Superior, you're gonna find a way to Manitoba, then to Saskatchewan, and then Alberta, only using the rivers. So don't, like if there's not a river, you can't go there, because that would be wrong. <laughs> all right. So that's all that you're doing today is you're making your own map of how to get around Canada, only using the waterways like the explorers would have and then once you're done that, you're going to start learning about the voyageurs, which are very interesting people that travel.
traveled across Canada. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching this quick video. Do a really good job on your map. Make sure it's neat and hand it in um, wherever I tell you to. I don't know where that's going to be. <laughs> Have fun. See you later.